activations for that prompt. Those are like the internal model states associated with that prompt. And instead, it can just go straight to the generation step. So this is a way to both speed up the prompt <laughs> processing time, but also to just save money. One of the key things that you should think about with prompt caching is the way it works is it's doing a prefix match. So you can see in this example, you have first request on the left, and then if you send the exact same request plus a couple things at the end, it's all a prompt match. But if you change just one character at the very beginning of the prompt, it's a complete miss. None of the other activations are gonna help your prompt speed at all. So what that means is you're building applications is you really wanna put the static stuff at the beginning of the prompt. So that's like your instructions for how your agent should work, your one-shot examples, your function calls, all of that stuff belongs at the beginning of the prompt. And then at the end of the prompt, you wanna put the things that are more variable, like information about a specific user or what's been said previously in the conversation. Typically, our system will keep prompt caches alive for about five to 10 minutes. This will all just happen automatically without you needing to be involved at all. But one of the second ways that you can kind of improve prompt caching rate is just keep a steady cadence of requests. We will always clear the prompt cache within an hour, but as long as you keep hitting with the same prompt prefix, within about five to 10 minutes, you'll keep those prompts active the whole time. And how does that manifest in terms of money saved? Well, we just are announcing this today, so for all of our most recent models, you can immediately start saving 50% on any cash token. And one of the really nice things about this implementation is that there's no extra work required. Hopefully your bills are just going down as of today if you have really cashable prompts. You don't need to pay extra to use this feature. You just save for making your traffic more efficient. The last thing that I wanted to cover in terms of saving costs is our batch API. I think our batch API is a little bit of a sleeper hit, but it is 50% off both prompts and output tokens by running requests asynchronously. So instead of hitting the model and the model replying as quickly as possible, you create a batch file, which is a se sequence of 